what a wonderful morning this is. Welcome to the ribbon cutting of the new Douglas County Animal Services Shelter. Long time coming. We are so happy that all of you are here today. It is a great day, not only for us, but for all the animals of Douglas County. This morning, I would like to welcome many people. I know I will not remember everyone's name, but I do have a cheat sheet, so uh, bear with me and I apologize if I don't. Welcome to the Douglas County Board of Commissioners, Chairwoman Ramona Jackson Jones, Kelly Robinson, Ann Guider, uh, Mike Mulcair. Am I missing someone? Uh, where's, is Henry here? I don't see Henry. Uh, Mayor Rochelle Robinson is here today. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, are they here? Okay, okay. Uh, I would like to welcome all the Douglas County employees uh, that are here today. Uh, all of us, in one way or the other, have really worked on the shelter, so welcome. The Douglas County Animal Control Advisory Board. Uh, Helen Combs is not here today, but it's Julie Hudson, Maureen Linden, Colleen Baldwin, Jerry Hurd, Donnie's not here. I would like to welcome Terry Burlick, who is the president of the Humane Society, and Diana Mamolo, which is the prior president of the Humane Society. Of course, this, the mayor, Rochelle Robinson, and her city council members. I see LaShun Burr-Danley. Is anyone else here? Okay, all right. <laughs> okay. At this time, I would like to introduce to you the director of the Animal Shelter and the Animal Services, Mr. Bill Peacock. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Pat. It's been a long journey. Um, there have been so many people that have been involved in making this day happen. Uh, Mike. Uh, Mulcair is going to talk about several of those, so I won't steal his thunder. But we appreciate the support that we've received from uh, the prior commission and our current commission. Uh, they have been generous in allowing us to, uh, to build a shelter that will be a landmark for a long time in Douglas County. Uh, we're extremely proud of what we've been able to do, and we want to share that with you today. Uh, I do want to point out, um, I mention and give a great thanks to our contractor, um, Spratlin, John Spratlin and Son out of Lincolnton, Georgia. They have been excellent to work with. Uh, they, we've, we've been a team that we've conquered and um, overcome every hurdle that anybody's put before us. Also our architect, uh, Carter Watkins, Mr. Joe Watkins, we appreciate him and the work that he's done. He's vacationing, vacationing, vacationing in Greece today, so he couldn't be with us. I don't know why. You know, he chose Greece over us. You know, but again, uh, we want to thank you so much for all the support that you've given us over the the last three years since I've been the uh, director for animal services, and I, I truly appreciate and love every one of you. And I just hope you have a great time with us today. Thank you. And now I, thank you, thank you. Now I would like to introduce our keynote speaker, and that's Commissioner Mike Mulcair. Well, thank you. Thank you, Bill, and thanks again for everyone being here. Without any embarrassment at all, I'm going to read for some notes because I, have, I feel like I have some important things to say, and I don't want to leave out anything or anyone. But uh, having said that, I appreciate so much the honor uh, to speak at and on this occasion. Uh, I will attempt to go through this without being emotional. Uh, most everyone placed in this position tries to come up with something that's uh, unique or, or uh, uh, inspiring or funny or, or worthy of recalling in, in, uh, in, in future years. Um, that's unlikely to happen today. <laughs> okay. uh, that, what, what I say will come from the heart. And, uh, and the heart remembers. The heart remembers Mae West, the matriarch of the Douglas County Humane Society, and, and I would say maybe the patron saint of animal welfare in Douglas County, who largely with her gentle and diplomatic ways, <laughs> let's hear some laughter there, 
brought Douglas County to the realization that uh, animals are deserving of care and, and uh, compassion. And a county involved in that mission is noteworthy and praiseworthy almost in every regard after that. Uh, she partnered with the county to start the uh, ex existing animal shelter, build the existing animal shelter. The heart cherishes Diana Momolo and Sam, <laughs> who, worked, who worked tirelessly in educating and raising so, much, uh, so many dollars to help fulfill the Douglas County Humane Society mission. I call her Dynamo. Uh, because it seems she was working 24-7 for the animals of Douglas County. She was Douglas County's animal welfare conscience for many years. The heart uh, certainly embraces our mistress of ceremonies today, Pat Fulgham. <laughs> who heads the Animal Control Advisory Board even during some very tumultuous and challenging times. She kept her focus on the future and the needs of the animals and led the Animal Control Advisory Board through the design input process for this facility. I thank Bill Peacock. As director of our animal services, with his hand on the helm and with the able and energetic assistance of our shelter manager, Francis McMillan, Customer service along with animal welfare rose to a higher standard and a greater and closer relationship began with the broader Douglas County community. We must thank Chairman Emeritus Tom Worthen, who steadfastly held <laughs> who steadfastly held to difficult financial decisions during a recession, along with the entire commission, that saw this facility built without incurring any debt. I will add that this facility would probably have been built three or four years earlier had it not been for that recession, but who cares? It's here. Okay. We should all be thankful for the active and very strong relationship that has developed between Animal Services and the Douglas County Humane Society. Uh, many people do not know that the Humane Society last year donated $25,000 for the stainless steel kitty condos. You'll see those later. The relationship is a daily fact of life that benefits so many animals and families in Douglas County. Are you a Douglas County Humane Society member? Let's do that if you're not. Carter Watkins and uh, Spratlin and Son, and uh, Mr. Spratlin is here, uh, but as we said, the architects are, are away. Uh, let's, let's look at this building, uh, designed by Carter Watkins Architects, working closely with our Animal Control Advisory Board. They all began with a vision, and it grew from, gr from the ground through the skill and close attention to details of Spratlin and Strun Construction Company. Let's have a hand for them. <laughs> now I'm going to talk a little bit about the facility. Won't be much longer. It's appropriate to visualize all of the benefits to the cats and dogs and other animals. We do get other animals besides cats and dogs, don't we, Francis? We do. Give, give me a couple of examples. Ostrich. Ostrich. Pigs. Pigs. Goat, chicken. Goats. Chickens. Turtles. Turkeys. Okay. Turtles. You you get the drift. You get the drift. Uh, it's uh, but we talk about the transition from an abandonment uh, to veterinary care uh, to permanent homes coming through this building. It's no less appropriate to realize that this facility will mean to uh, our employees who will work here. They will be moving from an inadequate and remote building where they truly worked miracles to this state-of-the-art facility where miracles and happy beginnings will be commonplace. Uh, this facility with its location and welcoming look will generate so many more visits and thus adoptions than the previous location could even dream of. The building's design and landscaping was intentionally se selected to deinstitutionalize its appearance, to blend in better with nearby homes, to not look like a jail for animals. As you will find, there are no outdoor pens, 
or runs, and thus no need to call your commissioner when the weatherman says the temperature is going to be 10 degrees that night. They will stay sa safe, dry, and warm in this facility. The examination and surgical suites will provide our county's many supportive veterinary professionals and doctors the tools to improve the level of in-house care beyond our present capabilities. Essential to maximizing adoptions, the outreach to many engaged volunteers and rescues will be boosted by this facility and its accommodations such as the conference room and meeting spaces within its walls. There is a resource officer on staff right near the front which will help to enable the growth of volunteerism and multiply rescue resources. And I'm going to go off script here and I'm going to call out somebody that's in the crowd right here. Tony Mitchell. Just come up and let people meet you. This, this lady has saved, I wouldn't hesitate, hesitate to say, uh, 10,000 cats from uh, euthanasia. She has, and her team, and her team. Thank you so much, Tony. She, did, she didn't know that was going to happen, but, it, but, but it, it had to happen. The inherent design of the building uh, will greatly improve the cleanliness of the individual kennels, and the air handling units separated by pods will greatly reduce the possibility of airborne transmission of diseases. And just wait till you see the kitty condos and the cat playroom. Apparently, dogs don't play. So. <laughs> uh, the new policy of spaying and neutering before adoption will see the number of unplanned, unwanted, and uncared for animals diminish in Douglas County. Through very successful fundraising efforts, the cost of spaying and neutering every animal up for adoption will be partly offset to maintain a low overall adoption fee. Uh, thus encouraging more adoptions. For my part, in some future time, I know I will reminisce about many things that occurred during my time in office, uh, things that I take no singular uh, personal credit for, such as the opening of the Boundary Waters Park or the Chattahoochee Master Plan Trail or the new Lithia Springs Park or the new 911 Center or the fire station or the library or the adult detention center, which we used to call a jail. <laughs> but of all these things, this animal shelter will be closest to my heart. Thank you. And, and with that, I would like to introduce our county chair, Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is absolutely a, a wonderful uh, opportunity for myself and also my fellow commissioners and our mayor and the city councilman and the school board. I see school board here as well to uh, really be here today to cut the ribbon and to celebrate animals. I love animals from the top and bottom of my, of my heart personally. And this is certainly an honor and a distinguished uh, pleasure for me to be here today to cut the ribbon. Again, thank you all so much. This is uh, history for Douglas County. It's been a long time coming. And I heard Mae West's uh, name earlier. You said Mae West was instrumental in our community. Mae West said, uh, you only have one time to live. And she said, if you do it right the first time, once is enough. And we've done it right. So thank you all. Yes, we have. Okay. okay. Are we going to do that before we thank everybody? I'm going to make oh, you go ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, okay, go ahead, yeah. Commissioner. All right, thank you. All right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Again, I'm going to be very um, brief in my comments, again, in, in, as a representative of District 2, because as you know, politics is local. Even within a commission, you have to give consideration to the residents that are within that particular commission district. And this was, as, as Commissioner Mulcair said, was, was a, a challenging but a rewarding project. I mean, it was, it was something that, I mean, I've, this, in nine years, I've seen people labor, a labor of love to work out of all the projects. And I'm, I'm going, I was going to give you the credit for it, all the things you did, but since you already did it, I, 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 but, but, but honestly, <laughs> yeah, he did. But, but honestly, um, I, I watched Commissioner Mulcair really work at this. He, he really cared. Some of the things he did offline, we're roommates basically next door to each other, so I hear him and sort of how he advocated for this. 
for my citizens that are, are here. You know, this was a, a, a concern. But when I went through this building, I looked at it, I mean, I, I behold the architect. Who is the architect again? Where is the architect? Joe Watkins. Joe Watkins. I mean, let's give them a hand, guys. This thing is fabulous. Um, I, I had to keep my eye on it. it. It had one of the things that we committed to, and we talked about stories, is that when we, when we debated and talked about this with the commission, it's like, okay, this has to be right. It's in a resident. It could have been at Mount Carmel. But if you dropped this right here at Deer Lake, it had to have a right appeal. It had to blend with the community. I mean, think about it. It is industrial strength on the inside, but it, it blends beautifully with the whole surrounding area and stuff. And again, so I just want to thank Bill, your process and what you did, uh, bringing everybody together, the general contractors, and all of you who advocated for this. At the end of the day, you know, as you know, it took financing to get this done, and I, I've got to reiterate this point. Uh, I remember in there, and I, I want to acknowledge um, our, our prior chairman, Tom Worthen. We're in the finance committee. I said, okay, Mr. Chairman, you, got, you, you can't nickel and dime this. Go ahead and pay cash now. We're sitting on cash. We, 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 we got to balance this, the ebb and flow, and how you handle cash. I said, but don't belabor this. I listen to your hearts. I listen to the people say, look, we want this, we need this. I, I think the Rollins just shared with me 40 years in coming. And so it's one of those where I, I really believe that this was the right thing to do. It's the appropriate use of your cash, and I hope you're very proud of the results. Thank you. I would like to say something. I fail to recognize someone who is very important in the animal community and welcome them this morning, Judge Keith Rollins and his wife, Sandra. Uh, judge Rollins is our animal advocate judge. Don't ever do anything to an animal and have to go before Keith Rollins. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on this very special occasion. Uh, we're so proud of our new shelter. After the ribbon cutting, please join us inside some, for some refreshments and there will be available tours of the shelter. Thank you for coming. Two, three. Woo! Woo!